This video is brought to you by Megalopolis City of Collectibles. It's more for time! Don't forget to head over to megalopolis.toys for all of your more phenomenal Power Rangers action figure needs, including things like the Power Rangers Lightning Collection from Hasbro. Kawabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Thunder White Ranger. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in your standard Lightning Collection window box packaging. Turning the box around, we can see a really cool image of the White Ranger. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. Alright guys, so first and foremost, let's address the elephant in the room that we all know about. That unpainted helmet. Good lord, that thing <laughs> looks horrible. Um, it just, it's, it's crazy how just the black lining around the visor really changes the whole look of the helmet. Uh, it looks completely different and I don't like it. Now with that said, the sculpt itself looks incredible. Uh, the overall look of the character I've always loved. I think he's one of the coolest looking rangers ever. Uh, but that was a big part because I thought that helmet was so cool. And you can actually see where there is sculpted line work uh, where the black would be. Um, so it's a shame that we didn't get that. The helmet itself looks really cool, man. Just really missing that black. and uh, but from what I've heard, you can uh, submit, uh, uh, I guess, some kind of writing to Hasbro themselves, and they'll send a replacement uh, because they have addressed it. So that's really cool. So that's what I'm going to do to get an actual painted helmet, which is really nice. So I love the fact that they're giving us that option. So is what it is. Everything else about this figure, I think it looks great, man. I love the, the armor here like that, very reminiscent of the... Uh, the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, you know what I mean? Uh, but this just looks great. The white, the gold, uh, that black looks killer, man. I love this suit. It is definitely one of my all-time favorite looks. The gold on this looks really nice. The paint on the black, all that came out really, really sharp. I love how these are actually sculpted on there, too. Those look really nice. Really, really cool-looking thing, man. Uh, the Morpher's unpainted. Uh, now, I, I know that bothers some people. Uh, it doesn't bother me as nearly much as it does... Uh, the helmet, uh, I do wish that was painted at least maybe like painted at least silver Maybe that would have been cool just add a little something so it doesn't blend in so much with the white uh, But it's it's still cool. I dig it. Uh, the hands look really nice, too You got his weapon right there on the side. I'll show that off right now, but still this looks cool, man Again, just that helmet is so disappointing it is what it is, I guess um, But still great looking piece uh, So we do have some interchangeable hands here. So we got two types of gripping hands like so uh, we also got one Right, another gripping hand like that, which is really cool too. I love the positioning of those fingers. And then we got one that's more a little more open palm, relaxed like that, so that's really cool. Uh, of course, we do get his sword right here, which is really nice. You can pop that in either of these gripping hands like so, get that in there. Like that, and I think that looks cool too, done in that simple white, and the gold looks really sharp, so I dig that a lot. Uh, we also do get this really cool effect piece. Which I think came out rad, man. I love the fact that we get effect pieces with all our Lightning Collection figures. So this is cast in this really nice, like, um, uh, amber orange, which looks really cool. You see the arrows flaring off. I think that's really cool. Uh, and this will slide in a very specific way. You kind of see how it, like, loops through there like that. And then you kind of, like, position it where he's, like, flaring off these arrows. It's really cool. It doesn't uh, hold up as much as I would like, uh, but you can do it, and it looks like he's shooting those arrows i think that's so cool what a great look man so i love that really nice effect piece for that so really really cool uh one thing that's really nice too what i also love about lightning collection figures we get an unhelmeted head so you can actually pop this off like that uh, just on a ball peg and pop this one on there like so then what i noticed too every time the unmasked heads or unhelmeted heads are always way tighter on that ball peg than the helmeted figures or helmeted heads excuse me so i don't know what that is but anyways that, I think, actually is really, really nice. This is 
pretty accurate, actually. Like, you know, sometimes they can be hit and miss. I think this is one of their better head sculpts for their unhelmeted heads. I think it looks just like him. That's really cool looking, man. So I think in the meantime, uh, until I get a replacement helmet, this is going to be the head I display this figure with. Uh, because this that's just not cutting it man. Sorry. That's that's a no, that's a no-go for me I think that looks really really cool uh, all, One thing you can also do too if you wanted to The armor is removable uh, Just a little peg hole right that and a little peg on the back of the armor right there And you could take that off if you want to do something like that uh, I don't know put the helmet on and have them display that way if you want to have that option it's a little scuff right there So eh, it is what it is uh, So there's that option if you wanted to do that, uh, but definitely want to have this armor on pegged on back there like that and we'll put this helmeted back on like that so there you go so that's pretty cool i do dig all the different accessories that he does come with again man besides that helmet i really really love this figure all right so let's run down his articulation now if you have any of the lightning collection figures you know what can expect uh the head's on a ball joint rolls around does turn left and right up down uh pivot side to side and kind of wobbles a bit arms go full 360 like so up and out that far as well as a butterfly joint in there rotation of the bicep double double jump jointed elbows that work very very nice rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist ball peg in the midsection so that rolls around rotates back and forth pivot side to side as well as an actual ab crunch allows it to go all the way back and all the way forward so that's really nice hit joints to kick forward that far back not so much splits all the way out rotation in the upper thigh Double, double jointed knees where he can't kick himself in his own butt. Uh, rotation at the boot. Ankles go up, down, and a very good ankle rocker. So overall, I actually really, again, actually really, really enjoy this figure. Uh, my only issue, really, um, you know, the more for I guess, but that helmet, man, again, that's going to be for everybody. I understand. I feel your pain. I'm right there with you. Uh, but other than that, I think he's such a fantastic figure. I've always loved the Dino Thunder season and, and these, these looks for these characters. This white dino was always one of my favorite Ranger looks. I thought it was so awesome. I really want black now. Tommy's black dino would be really cool to go with this. But yeah, such a great figure. Terrible mishap on this. So luckily, they're going to be sending out replacements. And I think I'll do an updated video. It's like a part two to this, just to show you the comparisons of the old helmet and the painted helmet. Helmet, uh, I think that'd be nice, so definitely look out for that soon. But still, I think he's a really rad figure. If you could hold out to get the replacement helmet or paint it yourself if you really want to, which I know a lot of people are doing, then pick him up, because I still think he's a really rad figure and definitely a must-get. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figures. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to the Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin White Ranger and Dino Charge Gold Ranger. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Thunder White Ranger. Now overall, honestly, I think this is a really good action figure and honestly might be one of my favorites in the Lightning Collection so far. That's probably me just being biased because I absolutely love this suit, but I think this figure turned out amazing. The sculpt and the paint are super awesome and that effect piece is killer. It is definitely one of the best effects that we've gotten in this entire series. Now of course, the biggest issue is going to be that unpainted helmet. That honestly just really sucks and I wish they had fixed it, but it looks like they're going to be sending out free helmet replacements which is really cool and I'll definitely do an updated video for that. But that aside, this is still a great action figure and a definite must get for your collections. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.
The world is very lucky to have you, and so am I. May the power protect you, always.